Space travel is probably one of the most fascinating technological achievements that mankind has managed so far. The moon landing alone was followed by millions of people around the world. And even today, many of the rocket launches are a major highlight for many people. But to get us to the point where people are openly speculating if it'll soon be possible to travel to Mars, it took many missions and astronauts to lay the groundwork. This included some highly dangerous missions that nearly ended fatally for the astronauts involved. If you enjoy our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and stay tuned for many more fascinating videos in the future. Soyuz 5 Russian cosmonaut Boris Volonov's mission was to perform a docking procedure in space, with his Soyuz 5 capsule connecting to Soyuz 4. This worked according to plan, at least until the separation of the two elements was to take place. The separation didn't work, and so the cosmonaut's capsule re-entered the atmosphere nose first. The speed and heat were too great, and eventually, smoke entered the capsule. Then. There was also a malfunction of the retro rockets. In the end, the cosmonaut crash landed, lost several teeth, and to make matters worse, had to trek back on foot in minus 40 degree weather until he was finally collected by Russian troops. STS-98 STS-98 was one of the last missions of the space shuttle Atlantis and included a crew of five who were to make three planned spacewalks. During the first walk into space, an accident occurred. While working on various units, ammonia leaked out in crystalline form and settled on the suit of one of the astronauts. If this toxic substance had entered the shuttle, it could have triggered a catastrophe. Therefore, to protect himself, the astronaut spent 34 minutes in direct sunlight causing the crystals to disappear. Once the astronauts were able to make sure there was no further contamination after boarding the shuttle, the mission could continue. Soyuz T-10-1 Originally, the Soyuz T-10-1 mission was to replace solar panels on the Soviet space station. However, disaster struck upon launch. One minute before the planned launch, one of the booster rockets caught fire. The astronauts, who fortunately were trained for such an operation, started emergency measures and the ground crew was able to remove the rocket from the fire within a few seconds. So, it was likely only a matter of seconds that saved the lives of two cosmonauts here. If the fire had spread to the actual rocket, it probably would have exploded. Gemini 8 even before his famous moon landing, Neil Armstrong was traveling in space with his colleague David Scott in a Gemini capsule. The goal was to rendezvous with another unit in space. Over the course of the docking procedure, however, turbulence occurred and the capsule began to rotate uncontrollably. Various measures were initiated, but they made the situation even worse. Only a reset of the settings allowed the two astronauts to regain control of their space vehicle. In the course of an analysis, however, it was found that only 25% of the fuel was left. The docking procedure had to be aborted and the capsule returned to Earth without being able to implement the actual mission. Liberty Bell 7 The Liberty Bell 7 mission was nothing less than sending the second American ever into space. It was to perform a number of maneuvers in orbit before the capsule was to land back on Earth. In fact, the mission was a complete success on a large scale. At least that's the way it's viewed today. Some would probably disagree, looking at the scenario after re-entry into the atmosphere. Virgil Gus Grissom, the astronaut on the mission, found that an emergency system activated automatically and nearly trapped him in the capsule. He just managed to free himself from the capsule in the ocean and thus not drown, only to be fished out of the water by NASA in a second attempt. 
So this mission did not go completely smoothly either. The Apollo-Soyuz Test Project The first joint project between the Soviet Union and the Americans in space was an important milestone in space exploration. In fact, cooperation in space went relatively smoothly. After all, the astronauts and cosmonauts were professionals who were primarily interested in their work and less in the political peculiarities of their home countries. It was not until the return to Earth that things became dangerous for the Americans once again. The automatic landing system failed and the parachutes had to be released manually. In the process, however, an airlock was opened and gases entered the capsule, including toxic fumes. Upon impact, the astronauts were nearly unconscious and only at the last minute was a rescue possible. In the end, the three astronauts spent two weeks in the hospital in Hawaii, but they survived. And that's why the mission is still an important success in their joint journey into space. Boskud 2 It wasn't only Americans who recorded failures small and large during their missions. The Soviets, later known as the Russians, wound up in one or another dicey situation as well, which often brought the cosmonauts in direct mortal danger. In the case of the Voskhod 2 mission, there were several situations that could have been fatal for the cosmonauts. The actual mission was to prove that it was possible to survive in space in the right suit. For this purpose, the first spacewalk was also to be completed. While this was broadcast to the whole world, the suit showed its weakness. Gas penetrated the spacesuit and made it impossible for the cosmonaut to get back into the narrow airlock in his vehicle. Only the targeted release of oxygen prevented suffocation. On re-entry into the atmosphere, the extra oxygen caused the autopilot to malfunction and the two cosmonauts had to crash land in the Siberian desert. Here, they spent two nights in freezing temperatures before being found by skiers and finally celebrating their successful mission. ISS Expedition 36 On one of the missions to the ISS, a completely unforeseen event during a routine mission suddenly triggered a near disaster. During a spacewalk, Luca Parmitano's helmet suddenly filled with water. What was revealed during that walk as a small leak turned into a real problem a week later during another walk in space. This time, the helmet filled even faster, and in the end, there was a whole liter inside the helmet, making it almost impossible for the astronaut to see anything or even breathe. The attempt had to be aborted and thus barely prevented Luca Parmitano from drowning in his own spacesuit. In fact, a leak was later found in another location. In the meantime, this weak spot had been repaired and should thus prevent the horror scenario from occurring in which an astronaut actually drowns in his own helmet and absolutely nothing can be done about it. Mir The Russian space station Mir is no longer to be found in space, yet for many years it was representative of the progress in space travel. During this time, Mir had several problems and accidents which could have become a problem for the crew. First, there was what was probably the largest collision space has ever seen. During loading with a cargo unit, control was lost and it collided with the space station, causing a leak. Fortunately, astronauts quickly discovered the leak and were able to seal it before it could cause major problems. In another incident, a fire developed on the station, briefly filling it with toxic gases. Again, however, the crew's training ensured a quick response and it was possible to prevent the fire from spreading to the other areas of the space station or leaving major damage. Apollo 12 Apollo 12 was the direct follow-up mission to the famous Apollo 11 mission, which carried humans to the moon for the first time. According to NASA's plan, the next astronauts were to land directly on the satellite body However, things turned out differently, and the mission almost ended in a disaster for the astronauts involved. The launch went according to plan, and the rocket began its journey from the spaceport in Florida. However, at an altitude of about 6,500 feet, the rocket was suddenly struck by lightning. Another lightning bolt followed 16 seconds later, 
and the space capsule's electrical systems failed. It was the quick-witted reaction of an engineer on the ground who was able to reroute the power lines with a button, saving the rocket. In this way, not only was the mission successfully completed, but the lives of the astronauts were saved, as they would have only survived for a few hours in their capsule without power. As shown with the examples from this video, progress in space is always associated with some risk. What other incidents can you think of that illustrate how dangerous the journeys into space are and how sometimes only a small coincidence can prevent a very big disaster for the astronauts? Let us know in the comments.